Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Lynn, also known as the Domestic Geek on Coral TV. If you're not familiar with Coral, we're one of the newest channels to join Kin Community and we couldn't be more excited. Our channel provides tips, tricks, and shortcuts to make your lives easier. We cover everything from food to finance to fashion, so be sure to check us out and subscribe. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some great tips, tricks, and shortcuts for making the most of one of my favorite foods, the egg. Whether fried, scrambled, or hard boiled, these little gems pack a protein punch that make them as nutritious as they are delicious. But the first step when you get them home from the supermarket is knowing how to store them properly. So the first thing you wanna do when you get your eggs home is to take a look at the date on the carton. This is actually a sell-by date as opposed to an expiry date. The general rule of thumb is that your eggs will last about three weeks after purchase. Next, you wanna resist the temptation to remove the eggs from this carton. What you might not know is that eggshells are actually porous and they tend to absorb odors and flavors of surrounding foods. This carton is perfectly designed to prevent that from happening. So while they look nicer in a decorative bowl, they belong in here. Finally, you never wanna store your eggs in the door of your refrigerator. That's the part of your fridge that experiences the most temperature fluctuations, making it ideal for things like condiments, but terrible for things that need to be kept consistently cool. You should be storing your eggs in the most consistently cool part of your fridge, which in my case is actually the middle shelf. All right, now that we've covered the storage basics, it's time to get cracking. Because you can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. I just crack myself up sometimes. But seriously though, folks, you might be surprised to know how much scientific research has actually gone into the eggshell. It's shockingly resilient, and that's why it's known as nature's perfect packaging. But it does have one weakness, and exploiting that weakness is the secret to getting a perfect break every time. The weakness is known as the equator, and it runs around the circumference of the egg. But before you start tapping things on corners, like the corner of your bowl or the corner of your counter, you should know, researchers actually recommend a flat surface as the perfect place to get a perfect break. But if, even after following all this sound scientific advice, you do end up with a piece of shell in your bowl, what to do? Well, the secret is to use an eggshell to remove that rogue piece effortlessly, like this. Voila, your souffle is saved. Now, if your recipe calls for your yolk and your white to go their separate ways, there are a number of different techniques, some are downright bizarre, that you can use to get the job done. But I am a sucker for the classics, so shell to shell is my preferred method. The secret to success here is to do it over a small measuring cup as opposed to your mixing bowl, so that if you do make a mistake, you're not spoiling all the whites at once. Thanks to my love of custard and hollandaise, in my house the yolks always go before the whites, leaving me with a serious surplus. So what I like to do is freeze the whites in an ice cube tray. That way they can be stored until my next meringue. Then all you have to do is pop these in the freezer and what you're left with are egg white cubes like this. Now you can thaw these out in the refrigerator and use them as you would any other egg white. They remain just as whiskworthy as they were when you put them in. Hopefully these tips will yield excellent results in your kitchen. And for more great egg tips, including a technique for boiling the perfect egg, click this thumbnail. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in a few weeks with more tips, tricks, and shortcuts here on Kin Community.